as of the year 2023, the U.S. government and the National Park Service went ahead and did something that had been on the back burner for many years, mostly due to someone profiteering off the idea that they would never actually do anything with it. As of 2023, the number of people that have visited the U.S. National Park System since the year 1916 was 15.7 billion people as a conservative estimate. 15 billion visitors have gone through the U.S. national parks and public lands that are able to be counted by doing a whole bunch of collection of data that honestly no one thought was important for a very specific reason. That's a 107-year-long database that showed out of almost 16 billion human beings, a little over 1,000 people, or 11 a year, have gone missing. Out of an unknown number, except that is known, of people who had accidental falls, death by exposure, encounters with wildlife that were or were not lethal, crime, bodies being dumped by the mob, etc. Your chance to vanish in the U.S. National Park System is 1 in 16 million This also includes people who, if you look at current statistics and statistics from the 1920s that were actually recorded fairly accurately about people in general, the majority of these people simply were reported missing and then found later and nobody bothered contacting to tell them that they'd been found. This was done based on digging up all of that data as best they could to see how many people were still missing because... A bunch of people got excited because of a specific fearmonger who put out a bunch of books and profiteered off of it. But hey, now as of 2023, they have the database. Look up the rate for lightning strikes. Do you know somebody's been struck by lightning? No? Then shut up. A vast majority of people who went missing were found. A vast majority of people who weren't found, quote-unquote, were eventually found somewhere else but not reported back. So that was added and or subtracted. A vast majority of people who were runaways will disappear under all sorts of conditions. Where was most of this? Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon, 15 a year, higher rate, rather than, you know, the 10 or 11 a year average. The majority of these were in Grand Canyon from 2018 to 2022. 62 people, some of which were dead. It's not a thousand a year, it's a thousand a century. Walk into this. But, no, no. What caused people to say it's a thousand a year, or specifically 1,600 a year, no. Even the person they're misquoting, who's misquoting all this data, who's an activist, who's also a Bigfoot expert, who believed and estimated 1,600 individuals vanished while visiting U.S. parks, actually said it was the total over a 100-year period of time, not per year. So people were deliberately misquoting him. And he just never corrected him in interviews. Were they mis disappeared mysteriously? If you don't know what happened to them, by definition, that's a mysterious disappearance. What about the non-mysterious disappearances? That's when they were found with cement overshoes or they'd walked out. A lot of people who go missing are reported found somewhere else because they weren't found in the exact city, county, or state. Look, look up the border, look up the complex borders of the national park system. National parks overlap entire states, several counties sometimes, and some of them, informally, other countries. Yes, people have gone missing in the United States and been found a decade later living in Canada because they crossed the border because they were avoiding the draft during the Vietnam War. But hey, I sold my books and I got my money. Some think more than a 1,000 people on average go missing from the U.S. national parks and public lands because they have to throw that in every year. And based on... David Pilates, a.k.a. the missing 411 Bigfoot hunter, 
who I've criticized in the past, guess what they did when they mentioned the federal government didn't track any of it, nor did the national park system for national park people. So what did they do? The response is, we have the records, we just didn't bother putting them together because it's a 1 in 16 million chance of becoming missing and not found. Missing is usually short term. In most cases, virtually all cases, we're talking about 90 or higher percentage of people who go missing are found within a week. Not a day, a week. It goes up to 95% if you do a month. And after a year, it's almost all of them. They're either found in whatever condition they are or they're alive. The number of people found unharmed or at least alive is 99% of them. It works out to point. 0.8% or some other really obscure number of people who actually mysteriously disappear. Again, out of almost 16 billion people who've gone through the parks, a thousand are missing. These are unsolved missing cases. And the funked up part is, a little over 50 of them are just in the Grand Canyon. Because it's a mile deep canyon. Oh, they don't even consider it mysterious. And again, that's 10 or 15 people a year going to a place that actually has signs that mention in some cases they will not search for you because it's too dangerous to search the area. Don't go here and people are seen on video doing selfies on cliff edges and dying from 2018 forward. There were 20 outstanding cases of significance that may have some possibility of being solved because they're more recent. The idea with the National Park Service and the missing persons groups and the other groups that were caused, you could say David Pauletti's caused this, is 20. There are 20 outstanding cases that are recent because they're less than 20 years old. 20 cases in 20 years is one case a year. There's some unexplained murders because people dump bodies off cliffs in the middle of nowhere. 2020 to 2021, we're going to use this. U.S. DOJ, because after Pauletti's made a big noise about the government's not tracking it, and he kept alluding to to an episode of the $6 million man TV show about Bigfoot being a trans-dimensional alien. No, that's where he stole it from. He's crib-noting fucking TV show. Again. Nobody calls anybody on this. I'm a true believer. Go fuck yourself. Let's move on. USDOJ 2020 to 2021. Yes, that's a single year. 20,000 missing person cases. 1,400 unidentified body cases. Open. Open. For all time. Yeah, that's the total on record for the country. This has nothing to do with national parks. That's over a period of how long? That's based on the original FBI that started in a certain year. The rest are solved cases. Hmm. Since the 1930s or something like that, I don't know, look up J. Edgar Hoover... Uh, How many people have been uh, made missing by certain groups of people? I'm walking here. Let's move on. In any cherry-picked year, you're going to get over 100,000 people going missing in the USA. 600,000 missing people and 4,400 unidentified bodies per year average is quoted in some places. The worst was 1997. There are over 6 missing persons for every 100,000 people on average nationally. The most populous state, California, has 7.3 missing people per 100,000. That's out of 38 million people, or 2,000 total. Total, not, not per year, that's the total that are still missing in California, nationally. That they consider missing. And guess what? They had to amend it later because some of those people were found in other states. They just ran away. These were grown-ups and kids that ran away. 
or people who went on a bus tour or whatever and end up being in a morgue somewhere and buried in a pauper's grave because their ID was lost because they were they 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 died off the side of the road and animals picked at them and and the clothing got pulled apart. That actually happens very commonly, specifically in Arizona. The least populous state was Wyoming, and it has 8.8 .8 missing people per 100,000, which is higher than California. And it has a total of 5,112 people missing. Total. But how many, that's for the period of time they've been doing records for Wyoming. The most missing rate state, Alaska, has less than a million people, and it has 1,000 185 people missing, but it has 162 missing out of 100,000 total. The least missing state is 2.2 missing people per 100,000 people. Out of 7 million people in that state, that's 154 people missing. <clears throat> Are you more safe or less safe now? Please understand again, I'm going to repeat this. Over a 107-year period of time, in U.S. national parks, there have been around 1,000 people missing. Now, the number is actually a different number now because they got off their dead butts and counted it as an exact number. But it works out to about 10 a year, and that's out of 16 billion visits. Yeah, but why would you try to qualify or brigade or, or, or gatekeep that it's not likely for you to go missing in a U.S. national park and that you're not more likely to have a mysterious disappearance when it's obviously less likely? The equivalent to double the population of the planet has gone through the U.S. park system and there's only a thousand people missing. Meanwhile, there's the entire mob or multiple mobs in the United States sitting there, oh, uh, don't look at us, herp a derp. Mysterious missing people. It's given a specific name, which is really crass, about when you go missing that way. 2021 shows the lowest number of missing persons due to a certain thing that we all know about we can't say on YouTube because YouTube still flags you for mentioning something. In U.S. history, that was the lowest number of missing persons because people didn't go on vacation where they can fall off a fucking cliff. If you spend your entire time in downtown New York or downtown Portland walking around and never even ha and might freak out if you trip over a bad piece of sidewalk and people are allowed to sue because you tripped over a piece of sidewalk, maybe, maybe, just maybe, you shouldn't be in a national park. But anyway... Over the entire country. Not the national park. Again, the national parks didn't have an increase. It's a thousand total for a hundred years out of 16 billion. Yeah, I'm going to say it again. Does it hurt? 2021 on the national scale, the United States population had the lowest number of missing persons. 521,000 people were reported missing. And out of that number, within one year, 485,000 approximately were found. That's 93%. And then the follow-up showed that it was almost 99% were located six months after the report. Total. Guess what they are now? 99% of them have been found. The majority of them simply were found within a very short period of time, but not within one year. Within one year, that's 93%. The majority of the rest of them, 99%, if you, get, if you get the rest of them, was within six months after that point because they found out they were listed as missing because they ran away or, this is funny, moved and didn't tell anybody. Because it's something we're not allowed to mention on YouTube because we get flagged for acknowledging that something has been happening for three fucking years or more. Seems like forever. you have a better likelihood of getting struck by lightning on your doorstep than going missing in a national park, even though it, it should be a higher number. And the only reason we know these information now is because some asshole wrote a bunch of books and put up a bunch of YouTube videos saying it's a thousand over a hundred year period of time, but didn't say it that way so people can read into it that it's per year. 
The highest incident was in 1993, excuse me, 1997 of missing persons, and the lowest was in 2021. You were safer than you thought you were. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Good luck with it.